Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over my top 10 fragrances that make you more attractive to women. These are all fragrances that I think you should have in your arsenal. They can be used as a secret weapon to make you even more attractive. Now don't get me wrong, I already know you're a very good looking man, I'm sure, but these colognes that I'm going to share with you guys are just the cherry on top. That last confidence boost that women just go crazy over. So let's do it, let's get into it, my top fragrances to make you more attractive to women. So first I want to start with one of the sexiest fragrance DNAs that a man could possibly possibly wear rose ouds. And I have two great options here. We have Neffs and Akaster. And I want to start with Neffs just because it is an absolute icon. This is a very plummy, boozy, sweet rose oud. There is a lot of depth going on in Neffs. It has a leathery side, it has a resinous side with a thick sweetness from a honey note and just a little bit of spice from saffron. Kind of plummy. It's a very strong metallic rose. Definitely a statement maker. This one gives major bad boy vibes. Crazy sex appeal. This one is so strong that the ladies will be able to smell you from literally a mile away and they will 100% be coming up to you asking you what you are wearing. Neffs by Nishane is a fantastic conversation starter. It is truly a masterpiece in the fragrance world done by Christian Carbonell, one of my favorite perfumers. And it is a little bit pricey, but I have it linked in the description below at a discounted price. This is like the bad boy of rose ouds. There's just so much going on in this and it's just done so well. It is really sexy. But next I wanna talk about Akaster by Parfum de Marly. Well, Neffs and Akaster, honestly, for me, that's why they're both on the list is they kind of go like not hand in hand but I love them both so much I don't know if I could really pick one as being my favorite I just feel like it's all about the time and place right and the type of person wearing the fragrance because Akaster it has that really gorgeous rose oud DNA as well Honestly, in the opening, they're very similar, but the big difference is in the dry down. The rose in Akaster, in my opinion, is a little more creamy. It's not as metallic as Neff's. It's a little bit greener. It doesn't have that like boozy sweetness. Akaster to me is a little more classy. It's a little more elevated. This one gives more of like a super successful CEO vibe. It has cypress and lemon and geranium. Like I said, a little bit more green, a little bit more classic and just it's masculine but more in a very refined way than Neffs. Neffs is like very bad boy, very exciting. Akaster is, like I said, those CEO vibes all the way. Also in Akaster compared to Neffs, I would say that the rose isn't quite as pronounced and the oud is very clean. It is also minimal. It's a very crisp, clean, wearable oud. Very easy to wear, still very unique. And also Akaster dries much more musky than Neffs. In my opinion, Akaster is a hidden gem from Parfum de Marly. Not that many people talk about this and I think that it definitely needs more attention. It's so sexy, it's so attractive and different. There's not that many men out there in the world that are wearing a scent like Akaster. You know, that kind of oriental style of scent. I absolutely love Akaster and this is 100% what I would want my man to smell like. Stepping into the designer world in a different, fresher direction, we have YSLs myself. You guys know that I have recently become very obsessed with this scent. It is just so perfect like the best easy going every day all occasion just easy to wear scent that will just fit into any situation this is a very hot fragrance it makes women go barrel pretty simple in the notes we have bergamot orange blossom and brofix and patchouli it's citrusy it's floral there's something a little aquatic about it kind of like this salty blue vibe mixed with this kind of Slightly clean, slightly soapy side with a very clean patchouli. There's a lot of people out there, myself included, that kind of wrote this fragrance off when it first came out, saying it's just a little basic, it's not that unique, not much going on. But I feel like in the end, we all come back around to it and we're like, wow, this is actually fantastic. It does what it needs to do very, very well. One of the best kind of like daily wear clones that a man could wear. So if you like designer scents and you want something that you don't have to think about when you put it on and it's very sexy to women, definitely check out myself. Also, it's priced amazingly. You can pick this one up for around or under $100 on the discounters. It's fantastic. So next up, we have another fragrance from the house of YSL. We have Y. 
Eau de Parfum. And the Eau de Parfum is actually my favorite in the Y line. It's aromatic, it's woody, it's fresh, kind of like a spicy apple scent. It has ginger, one of my favorite notes. It's just such a happy scent, really attractive on a man as well. And it also kind of gives it this zesty, zingy side to the scent. It has sage and juniper berries with geranium, a little bit of woods in the base with tonka bean, vetiver, and olibanum. Another great kind of all around scent. This one feels a little more elevated to me than my Itself, a little more intentional. Still very fresh and clean, but it's those woody and resinous undertones that makes this just a step above myself in my opinion. Maybe better for like a date night when you're going out, clubbing, things like that. Women will be absolutely addicted to this take my word. And that sage in here, it brings just a touch of darkness, not smoky, not incensey, just a touch of something interesting, a very like cool, mysterious aura, not overly sweet. Just be careful on the spray of this. It is very powerful stuff. So the next fragrance that we have here is Erotica Minimal by New Notes. Now, where beware with this one. This is the type of scent that is going to amp up and play along with your own personal pheromones. It's a musky, ambery floral scent that has this very refined, vintage-esque inspiration. In my opinion, it kind of smells like Roja's Ambreud and Roja's Muscaud had a baby. This would be it. It does have just the slightest, slightest indolent kind of style of jasmine, but trust me, it just works. It's barely there, but it is there and it just really adds a lot of sexuality. This scent is very, very sexual, very sensual, very grown, very rich. It does get very powdery in the opening. On the skin, it's a little bit more toned down versus when you're smelling it on a paper. It's even more powdery on the paper. It smells like you're at a golf club, a country club. You're rolling up in your Rolls Royce. The magic of this scent is on the skin. It has a ton of amber. It smells very niche, very, very high quality as well. And the dry down of this is just... 100% sex. Very, very manly and dominant. Women will really be taken by this scent. It's really going to grab attention of everyone around you, but especially the ladies. Like I said, it's going to amp up your own personal pheromones. It's just gonna smell like you, but better. And it's going to really turn on women. I'm telling you, there's just something about it that is so attractive. If a woman gets a whiff of the dry down of this on your neck, she's yours. And in my opinion, this fragrance is a great deal. If you don't want to spend money on those Roja prices, this is a great kind of lower end middle ground priced house. And I have a 20% off code as well with So Avant Garde where you can pick this one up and you can even try a sample. I would definitely recommend trying a sample of this. I would not blind buy this unless you love Amber and muscade maybe you could blind buy it but i would if you have the option to get a sample i would get a sample but whenever you do decide to get a full bottle of anything over on so have guard use code oda erica 20 for 20 percent off if you want something that is just a true aphrodisiac you need to try erotica minimal so this next scent that we have here is Grandmaster by Mind Games. It seems that the house of Mind Games has been picking up a little bit of hype lately. I love to see it. I have tried a few from the house that I really like, but so far I have to say that Grandmaster is my favorite. This is for the coffee lovers out there that want to wear the absolute best coffee scent on the market. Just top tier, the Rolls Royce of coffee perfumes. Grandmaster, is perfection in a bottle. So well done, so balanced. It's a really beautiful kind of coffee rose. You get this resinous, slight incense mixed with this bitter coffee, kind of like a bitter ground coffee with a very, very vibrant rose. But still, even though the rose is very strong, it is not what I would say is the star of the show. It's very resinous, more resinous than anything. And I think that that's where the sweetness comes from this. It is perfect and so unexpected on a man, we need to spray it. <laughs> it is so like I just want to like you just want to eat a guy that's wearing this. Like it just smells so inviting and so warm. And the thing is about Grandmaster is that it is literally like I'm not exaggerating when I say it is the Rolls Royce of rose coffee scents. From what I've smelled out there, this is absolutely the best. It's pricey, but it is worth it. Like why is the Rolls Royce? hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? It's because it's better than 
you know, a Mazda, right? This one takes coffee to the next level. Very luxurious, very refined, with this kind of like Middle Eastern flair with the resins that I really like. A very subdued spice. It's creamy, but not overly creamy. I wouldn't say it's like lactonic or anything like that. Just a little touch of smoke dries to a kind of slightly smoky woody rose i'd have to say also one of the most masculine rose coffee scents out there the scent itself is unisex i don't know though there's something about it that just smells like a man to me this is going to make women want to eat you like i said they're going to want to snuggle you it just smells totally different it's just so unexpected to smell something like grandmaster on a man so you're going to smell different and you're going to garner attention by smelling different but also just going to smell very cozy just very safe it's a beautiful scent it's kind of like this deep dark mocha coffee with a splash of sex appeal in grandmaster so next up we have one that there is literally no excuse on earth why you don't have this scent in your collection it is Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. Tried and true, absolute lady killer. This is one of those designer scents that smells niche. It's a fresh, bright, boozy, vanilla tobacco scent with cinnamon and cumin, which gives it that very strong manly touch, which also in a way kind of acts as a pheromone with a little bit of spice as the name would imply, Spice Bomb Extreme. There's no debate. Seriously, there's no debate. This is one of the best fall winter scents a man could possibly possibly wear in the colder weather, but it works in the heat as well. You'd be surprised. You can wear this year round. It works in the heat. I live in Miami. I've tried this out in the heat many, 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 many times, and it is still very good. Just go light on the sprayer and you can wear it year round. Women are not going to be able to take their hands off of you. It doesn't need that much explanation just get it. So why is it that somehow, some way, one million just keeps getting better and better throughout the years? We're talking about One Million Royale by Paco Rabanne, just one of the best of 2023. Literally every single woman that I've shown this scent to, and there have been many, love it. I have not showed this to one person and they didn't love it. And on top of that, when I show them other scents, even expensive niche fragrances, they picked this one over the expensive niche fragrances. I was like, what? But for some reason, women just go nuts over this. And they all said that it was very sexy and that they would love to smell it on a man. It just has that classic lady killer combo cardamom and lavender. It gets me every time. It has tangerine and benzoin. It has a very, very sexy sweetness. It's very interesting. It's not a very green cardamom. It's very creamy and it's a top contender for things like La Nuit de L'Homme. If you think it's too weak, you need to check out One Million Royale. It has that same effect on women that La Nuit de L'Homme is so famous for. Tried and tested, women absolutely drool for One Million Royale. And I'm one of them. <laughs> so if you want to give off the first First impression that you have a fat trust fund, you need to wear Naxos by Zerzhov. Nothing smells more like old generational wealth than Naxos. One of the top creations for men ever, period. Oh my God, it gets me every time. It's so freaking hot in a very classic way, but also very modern feeling. It smells like happiness, very uplifting and very put together. It has lavender, it has that honey, it has cinnamon, cashmere, and jasmine with tobacco leaf, that very famous tobacco vanilla and Tonka. It works in the winter, which is what everyone seems to think that they need to save Naxxas for is the winter. But this fragrance, you guys, works beautifully in the summer. It smells to me more like a summer scent than it does a winter scent. They think, oh, tobacco, it has to be worn in the winter, but the tobacco is not the main accord of this fragrance. It's more of a gourmand with a lot of fougere vibes. It's meant for the summer. It smells like a vacation on South Beach. You're staying at the one hotel, walking down, Collins Ave or South of Fifth in your linen, your white linen pants. That is what this smells like to me. And it was voted on Fragrantica in 2023 as the best niche fragrance of all time. That has to say something, right? One thing for sure, it is an absolute true classic and it always will be in the fragrance community. It smells like money and nothing turns women on more than money. <laughs> Double Zerzhov, I know, but it would just be not right if I didn't include Tony Iommi Monkey Special by Zerzhov. This is one of the hottest bad boy rock and roll types of scents 
out there. Dirty patchouli, just a very sexy, earthy, dirty patchouli, which that doesn't sound right, but when you smell it, you just get it. This is another one of those scents that is just going to have women chasing you, and I mean chasing you down the street, and they'll be able to find you because the scent trail on this will literally be a mile long, just based on how nuclear this scent is. I mean, I can spray it one to two times and it lasts days on me. Very rugged, kind of like these mafia, most of all rock star vibes, right? The collaboration with Black Sabbath, but just so rugged. It opens extremely boozy with this strong patchouli from the get-go and it has a very unique passion fruit as well. And it has this kind of like leathery undertone with a labdanum and like I said, that super, super strong patchouli. But the thing is, is that the sweetness in this really balances it all out. It has caramel, it has vanilla and cinnamon with a little bit of rose and geranium as well that kind of adds this lightness to it, balance. And a little bit of elegance as well. It is one of the most, if not the most unique, bad boy rose patchouli scents out there. Masculine rose patchouli scents. This is going to make you come off as like very mysterious, misunderstood. It is just such a fantastic and cool scent and a really great value as well because it's it's on the medium to higher end side, but you do not need to spray much of this. I'm serious, like one to three sprays max is all you need. It's loud and proud. It will last days and days and days and days on your clothes. Very hot to smell on a man and women will be in an absolute trance. You're going to put a spell on the women around you when they smell this scent trail. And it's also available in a 100 ml now on Zerzhov's website, but you can pick this one up on Max Aroma and save a little bit of money. So guys, that is my list for today. Fragrances that just make you undeniably attractive to women. Women go nuts over these scents. Very masculine, very manly. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below. What is the fragrance that has gotten you the most ladies? I would love to know. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.